Hi, this is Frank Schaefer. I grew up in an evangelical fundamentalist background where I became the nepotistic sidekick to my evangelist father, Francis Schaefer. And back in the 1970s and 80s, we were a family that became the linchpin of the then emerging anti-abortion movement that since took over the Republican Party and really laid the groundwork for the presidency of Donald Trump. My background is one of anti-science. I grew up in a home where we believed literally in creation by God in six days. We thought the world was maybe 6,000 years old. The fossil record was something put there maybe by Satan to fool us into believing in science instead of what the Bible says. Everything to us was fake news except what the Bible says. We were groomed, as it were, as a group, evangelicals, to accept someone like Donald Trump, an ultimate con artist, liar, when he says that anything that isn't pointing to him as a great president is fake news. Fast forward to the moment we live in now where the anti-science view of Donald Trump on the environment, on science, on defunding programs, for instance, that Barack Obama put in place to fight pan-epidemics like the coronavirus we face now is coming home to roost. Who does Trump put in charge of his project to deal with the coronavirus? Mike Pence. Who is Mike Pence? He's an evangelical bigot who in Indiana prevented a needle exchange program for AIDS patients because he said they were all gay people and drug addicts, and so why would you bother to help them? And his moral, evangelical, anti-science view said, let's not do anything about it. Now, he is in charge. Where is this crisis coming from globally right now? Well, one of the hot spots is Iran, run by theocracy mullahs, very much in the same frame of mind as Mike Pence is, and the evangelical white Christians who voted Donald Trump in as president. They believe that somehow religious superstition is more important than science and that your personal beliefs on religion somehow overwhelm whatever science is saying. And so the sites of pilgrimage like Homs in Iran now have become the spreading nexus of the virus all over the world because people come there thinking they need to go on a religious pilgrimage for some reason to get right with God. In the same way that evangelicals believe you have to accept Jesus as your personal savior, park your brain at the door to get right with God. Accept the Bible as true as opposed to say what science teaches about men and women and what a fetus is and all the rest of these things. Combine that with the fact that Donald Trump is not trusted even by his own people and is the least trusted president we've ever had, a congenital liar, a sociopath, always out for his own ends, demonstrated again just yesterday when he said that the reason why the stock market is crashing is not the coronavirus, but because of the prospect of Democratic presidential candidates standing on the stage in the debate hurting our economy. An outright political lie trying to cash in on a medical emergency in order to forward his dreadful little career. We are in a bad spot. The coronavirus is going to show something up globally. And that is that if you don't have trusted leadership, whether it's in China or in America, you can't deal with emergencies that suddenly come out of left field. The kind of symbolic, almost prophetic nature of having a theocracy buff like Pence, who's anti-science in everything he believes, a homophobic bigot in charge of a program that needs science and fact and trust to make it run, having been put there by a president who denies science, has defunded American science projects, rolled back environmental production, gotten us out of global connections at the very time we need them most, which is to fight a global pandemic, is like a signal from somewhere. I don't believe in prophecy coming from God anymore, but certainly from truth itself, that the last thing this country needed was a bastard like Donald Trump, a congenital liar in charge when we face a crisis. So good luck America with Donald Trump and Mike Pence trying to deal with a crisis in which trust and science and fact and compassion are the linchpin. And if we ever, looking at our Democratic candidates talking about health care for all, needed a health care project that would include everyone, it is now. So this is a moment of decision. As we Americans face the next election, we have to understand it's not just about politics, it's also about survival. 
You cannot have a congenital liar in the White House for another four years served by a theocrat who belongs in Iran, that's Mike Pence, not in America. He belongs with the mullahs who don't want to shut down their pilgrimages for fear of somehow closing down their power as religious leaders and instead are spreading the virus all over the world as pilgrims from everywhere are going back out now infected and they're lying about it. We face the same thing in America. We have a theocracy buff, Mike Pence, in charge of an epidemic that needed science and greater funding for research and a president that America would trust an ordinary, decent president America would trust, like George Bush Jr. or Barack Obama, who at least on issues like this would be trusted in the way Bush was when he crashed emergency AIDS finance into Africa during the height of that pandemic. But we don't have that. We have the evangelical white supremacist stupid boy, Trump, in charge. No one trusts him, not even white evangelical supremacists. You get what you pay for. A reality TV clown hooked up with someone who should be in Iran as a mullah running a health crisis where science and trust are needed. Overthrow the Republican lickspittle enablers of this regime in 2020, no matter who the Democratic candidate is. And we can turn the page on this. In the meantime, good luck facing our crisis, America. We are in trouble. My name is Frank Schaefer.